Hey everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for weatherweb.net. This is the fast forecast looking through towards the weekend. Now don't forget that WeatherWeb Premium members have unlimited access to all of our videos, the daily fast forecast, the daily look ahead video, and all of the musings and longer range forecasts as well. So just click the link uh, Premium Member to find out more about that. And thanks of course to all of those of you who have already signed up. Now it's a chilly one overnight into Thursday morning. Temperatures dropping down to freezing for many areas. A few sheltered rural spots in Mid Wales and Midlands may well go down to minus two, minus three locally, just a little bit lower. It will depend on cloud breaks for many. So a cold start to the morning wherever you are. So here's your chart for Thursday daytime and a fairly slight pressure situation across the country. There's dregs of old fronts and troughs just hanging around, giving a few areas of showers, most likely away towards the southwest, a few towards the far northeast of Scotland, where here quite widely is sleet or snow. But for many, it's a fairly dry picture, some broken clouds, some sunshine coming through from time to time. Temperatures at around 7 and 8 towards the south, at around 4s and 5s across northern areas and light winds for many. Now again, overnight into Friday, looking like a chilly one, a widespread frost on the way. The coldest temperatures across the Highland Glens of Scotland could go well down to minus 5 or below, similar to some sheltered valleys of northern England. A bit more cloud cover away towards the south and the west, though, should keep things hovering around the freezing mark. And it's that cloud cover that presents us with rather a messy picture into Friday. Just a weak fronts again encroaching into the southwest may just give some dribs and drabs of rain, a bit of sleet and snow over the tops of uh, the hills of southwestern Britain. A few uh, snow showers just moving into eastern Scotland too. But again, many areas largely dry, fairly light winds, a little bit of sunshine around, best of this across northern Britain. Uh, generally more cloud cover just uh, covering these uh, southernmost regions. Temperatures at around 7 Celsius again for the south, around 4 and 5 towards the north. Now, all becoming rather complicated as we head through uh, Friday evening into the early hours of Saturday. Fronts moving in from the southwest, and these encroaching in through the night uh, with the risk of rain, turning to sleet and snow as it encounters colder air over the hills of Wales. And it's that messy picture that we're then left with into Saturday daytime. So, there's the position of the fronts. Uh, exactly how far north or south this is will really dictate uh, who sees rain, who sees the risk of any sleet or snow. At this stage, the risk of any snow is the hills of uh, North Wales, particularly maybe across the uh, Peak District and Southern Pennine. But uh, again, we'll keep an eye on details of this one. A lot could change with that forecast. We've got an easterly wind keeping it rather chilly but fairly bright across northern Britain. Temperatures at around 3s and 4s here at around 7 or 8 towards the far south of Britain. And looking quickly towards Sunday, the flow coming around more from the northeast, so a few clusters of snow showers affecting these northeastern regions, one or two dregs of showers just on old fronts across the island and western regions of Britain, some sunshine around, a chilly feel, fives and sixes at best in the south, uh, threes and fours across many central and northern parts. So chilly weather on the way as we head towards the weekend, quite a complicated picture with the risk of rain and snow, and you can keep right up to date with us on that at Weatherweb Premium. That's all for today though, thanks for watching this video and bye for now.